Hi, I'm Dave. Um, I did a review for my Vapor Trails TV show last week uh, of the Arri tank. And this particular Arri tank is the one that's designed to take the XL clearamizers. And it was a very complimentary review I did. And I don't necessarily uh, change anything that I said during that review. I still think it's a good thing. But I've had some real problems with it leaking since I did that review. So I've been looking into why that is and uh, and what I can do about it. So the first thing I'm going to do is empty this one out, take it apart and let's have a look at the clearamizer that's in there at the moment and uh, and see if we can see what might be going wrong. The first thing I'm going to do is remove the cap from the Ari tank and I this is a tip from a, a YouTube video that Harry did himself. Use a knife to do that and get the thing starting to open. Then the back of the knife in there. And that will lift up the top cap slightly so you can then get a grip on it to remove it. That's the cap off. Gonna save what I can of that juice. This is where it can start to get a bit messy. I'm gonna reattach it now to a 510 connector and remove the tank. And in fact the whole thing has come off nicely. Now I'm going to remove, I'm going to mop up as much of the juice as possible so I'm making as any more mess than I have to. And remove this clearamizer. And this is an R4 clearamizer. And we'll have a closer look at it. So if you look very closely at the base of the clearamizer, and I'll use the top of this syringe to point, um, there's below the sort of serrated bit onto which the uh, clearamizer tube is, is supposed to fit when they come out of the packet, there's this little indented area here which normally has an O-ring in it. And what I found when the mine started leaking was that that O-ring had split. So somehow by pushing it into the tank, I guess that O-ring had become damaged. It's like a silicon coloured. It's very, very difficult to see. Um, it had become disturbed, broken, whatever you want to call it. And so when that was fitted into the cap, uh, there wasn't a proper seal. And that's where the juice was escaping. So I threw the initial clearamizer and use my last remaining clearamizer only to find that it was still flooding uh, still leaking out in actual fact uh, all my juice leaked out of the tank down through this 510 connection and it had actually started to fill up the ggtb so uh, that took a bit of cleaning up and I lost a load more juice and I thought, right, that's I'm not ordering any more R4 cartos. Uh, they're no good. So it has been suggested that the R5 clearamizers will perform better. So I've ordered these. They, they happen to have come from Cloud9 Vaping. They've arrived this morning and we're going to give it a go so another issue that i was having was with wicking so i'm hoping that uh, this will solve two problems and uh, they won't be leaky and they'll wick better let's find out So this is the first time I've seen one of these things. Um, the cap's a different colour for a start. I can see that the wicks are uh, totally different. Uh, get that under there. Rather than the old sort of loops, these one look like ropes. 
So uh, it's quite a significantly different design that. Better just check it's the same size. <laughs> it looks pretty similar. So what I'm going to do is go through the usual process. I'm going to take the cap off the clearomizer. Black cap in this case. This one does have the little donut. Not sure if I need that or not. We'll keep it safe for a minute. And next thing to do then is to remove the plastic tube from the clear remiser, I guess. That was easy. Quite like the way that those don't sort of flail out like they did before. Um, just having a look at that, that actually looks a lot better constructed than the last one. But let's find out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give this a good clean and dry for the simple reason that I want to know if it's going to start leaking again. So let's use the bottom of this tornado to push the cap out. That looks to be about the right size. Thank you, tornado. Give this uh, tube a little clean off. As I say, this is just so that if there are any leaks, they'll be easy to spot. So I'm going to give that a good sort of wipe through with that bit of tissue. That's good. Right. That's from the old one. So we just need to Push out the silicon cap from the tube there. So I've got the uh, the top black cap, the little silicon donut, and the silicon cap that we'll be replacing there. So that's good. Now, before I start assembling the tank, we'll have a little look at the base of this R5 clearomizer and you can see there quite clearly that where there was a gap on the last one where the old o-ring had perished and disappeared there was quite clearly a nice silicon o-ring in place so i've pushed the bottom cap down firmly down onto the um onto the base there so uh, no obvious sort of damage nothing sort of needed forcing so hopefully that will have left that o-ring intact um, it should now just be a case of popping the silicon cap on top of the cup like that shove in the tank on so uh, shove those in there, we don't want them getting caught in the seal and causing their own problems. I'll push the tank on firmly. And I'll use a syringe again. a gap below the uh, ceramic cap the ceramic cup there so I've, I've filled the, the whole tank up about three quarters of the way I guess I'm going to carefully now position the top cap so that the silicon cap inside fits into the inside and that all fits together rather nicely it seems and it should simply be a case of shoving the drip tip on there and it should be ready to use so that went well enough 
Gonna have a look at the bottom now. And certainly there doesn't seem to be any drips or anything yet. That's good. Okay, it just needs a little time to wick, I guess. Tip it a bit and help. Yeah, and that's lovely. So just to recap, that's the uh, damaged R4s gone. Never going to buy another R4 clearomizer again in my life. Uh, that's the first of a brand new packet of R5 clearomizers set in place. It already seems to be wicking better, so that, that, that could be uh, mission one accomplished. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use this over the next couple of days. Uh, just a quick look before we go for now and you can see that that's bone dry there's nothing leaking out there between the clearomizer base and the Delrin cap it went together it went together very very straightforwardly it no problems uh, what we're gonna do is use it and I will let you know in my show on Sunday night whether it performing any better and by performing better I mean is the juice staying in the tank until I want to vape it rather than draining itself into my battery tube <laughs> performance wise early signs are good See you later.